demonstrate for you how to actually do a ink aid transfer onto fabric. Um, really for selecting your fabric, again, I recommend that you purchase a, a bleached muslin, something that's a very uh, cotton tight weave, which is going to give you the best results. Um, what we have here is we have the transparency film that we coated and also the transparency film that InkAid, um, that you can buy directly from InkAid. And it actually um, is really nice when you get to see like the InkAid one, it's going to give you a very clean picture, a uh, smooth image, almost look like just like a photograph that comes off the printer. Where the hand coated is going to actually give you some uh, brush strokes and it's going to look more, um, you know, handcrafted from that perspective. Very simple step and easy um, items that you need to be able to produce this. You just want to work with, uh, again, we have our little cutting board here, um, some sort of base uh, brayer, which allows you to add contact from the transfer to the fabric. Um, and then I just use like a card, and this again allows you to kind of put pressure down. Some paper towels and a little water bottle. To start the process, you just want to go ahead and dampen down your uh, your fabric and I like to get it nice and coated but you can see here that some of the water is actually starting to bubble up and that means that it's just really really wet in that area so I usually just take a paper towel behind there move this out of the way wipe down my workspace put the fabric back you can either put a paper towel underneath if you want but you just want to get it nice and damp without any water pulling Okay, so now I've kind of dried that up. I'm going to just put my paper towel underneath, dampen that down. Okay. So once it's nice and good damp, you can take your transparency. You want to make sure you put the sticky side down. And I just lay it down in the corners like this. And then with a little bit of the brayer, just even pressure, and you just kind of want to smooth it over your fabric so it gets nice and contact. Nice contact. Okay, nice even pressure, just going over your image. And once you have the contact down, then you can go with a credit card and you can start brayering it down, you know, which means you really just put a lot of pressure in, move it over the image. Now you want to give it time to allow the um, ink aid to set into the fabric. So you want to let it set for a good two minutes or so. And you'll start to see the texture, which is wonderful. You start to see the texture of the fabric coming through, which is really beautiful. Now, if you get it too wet or if you push too hard, you can have your ink actually start pooling, which will mean that it will bleed out on the edges. So you just want to make sure that you have it damp, moist, um, and then just allow it to have that contact and give it time to set up. And you can see that some of it's coming through here. Okay. Once you go to check it, you can just start pulling back a little bit of a corner from the transparency film, and you can see here, you know, that there's still ink that's actually up on the transparency, so it just needs a little more time. That's why you just kind of let it set to cook. While we let that set, we're going to just move right over and do the same thing with the uh, ink aid coated transparency. So it's the same process. You just want to dampen down your, um, your fabric, nice and even. Take your paper towel, dry up any of that excess water underneath. Kind of blot it up so it's nice and even. Also it helps you smooth out any wrinkles if you have any. Then you, again, you just want to take your transparency paper, reverse it so it's kind of sticky side down or ink side down. Using your brayer, you just want to give it good solid contact. Roll it all down, get it nice and on there, making sure you're going both directions, but even pressure, because again, you know, too much water, your ink will start pooling. So you just want to make sure that you get nice contact. And then just with your card, go over, and just really smooth that down. Okay, so we're going to do the same process that we did with the other, just let it sit until we can get it all nice and good contact. About two minutes, and you can always just check the corner to see how you're doing. And here's for our big reveal. This is what it's going to look like when we peel up the uh, transfer film that we coated ourselves. 
So nice contact. See how we have all of that really cool interrupted color. Looks very vintage and it's really nice with the brush strokes here. Really adds a different dynamic. Looks more like a painting. And here is the reveal of the transfer with the Ink Aid transfer film where Ink Aid pre coats this. So you can see much more finished product, very, very even, but we're still getting some of that beautiful interruption. It just looks awesome.